this story had to be told. I know I lost a lot of friends, or at least had a lot of friends seriously question what I was doing. Finally, when I sat down and started writing it, I, I left my job in music publishing, and I literally had a friend at one point come to me and say, you know, you need to have a job. If you're not going to be a music publisher, go to McDonald's, do something. This is getting to be, like, insane. But I was, I was obsessed that I needed to get this story out. I needed to tell this story. Once I know an old lady around Tennessee she dwell She had a loving husband but she loved other men's as well Love my darling oh Love my darling oh Hi, I'm Robert Hicks. I'm the author of The Wood of the South. This is where I wrote it. I'm going to give you a quick tour. Come on in. Well, this is my kitchen, and if I did cook, I guess this is where I'd be doing my cooking. I've been avoiding it for years, but uh, mostly it's the beginning of the entire collection of uh, anything and everything I can get my hands on, whether it be regional furniture or outsider art. This, is, uh, this was the sign off uh, uh, Homer Green, uh, the late Homer Green's property. It was a uh, um, assigned uh, to warn people off about coming as property. The black angels it talks about are, are buzzards. And then his wife couldn't read. Uh, I was dyslexic and she, uh, she actually put the sign below it which says blind stagger on down which is like can't read keep on coming. Uh, he created the uh, giraffe on my front lawn. Uh, this is my office. This is, uh, this is where I, I wrote The Wood of the South. Uh, surrounded by a uh, 18th century maps of Tennessee and, and books I love and, and face jugs and, and the whole per paraphernalia of, uh, of things you pick up over the years. Um, if I had a favorite face jug, uh, it would probably be uh, this one because it was made by a guy named R. Hicks. Uh, that's not Robert Hicks. His name is... Uh, Roger Hicks, but the amazing part of it is he's blind, and he would make uh, face jugs um, as, a, as a blind man. So they have these really extreme uh, uh, characters on it because he was doing it all by feel. Here's the dining room, and, and, and you can tell I do eat. Whether I cook or not, I do eat. So, uh, uh, and again, I'm surrounded by regional furniture and by non-traditional folk art or outside art or art brute, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it's, I love it. It's, it's, it's so well related uh, to the creative process. These people are so close to the creative process. I mean, these are people who have been called to create art. I mean, in that sense, I, I really did feel called uh, to write.